Boaster from the future. All right, we're doing Trent today. Congratulations for qualifying, bro. I'm gonna knock you out of land. No, I'm not really. Uh, anyway, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. So he's playing yeah. Sova on Icebox, on the new Icebox too. Someone said in comments that they wanted to they see a Sova now. guide. So I've whipped out the Sova on Icebox and we're going for Trent. So the bomb gets tapped here and he's using his shock dart to kind of delay the bomb plant. He does have a drone and a recon and another shock to delay plant. So there's his shock for the default again. Recon's through to see if he can get any... Uh, Wall bang damage, I guess it's called a wall bang damage, but you know what I mean, like recon bang damage, we'll call yellow. it. Drone comes in, he One gets close, a ping. The box, swinging, swinging. Nice little drone here for retake. It's very strong, especially on the icebox. If you get control of this yellow, the enemy team I'm I'm really half. struggle. Nice. And they slowly just kind of bled out the enemy team, did the retake nice and easy, and I think the enemy team yeah, forced. Okay, so this time yeah, he has... Running. The drone on A, so he drones kind of at 1.15, which is an Chamber okay time. Could be close. I always think Sova shouldn't really drone out A, um, mainly because it doesn't really do much for the info. But Net does get a nice little capitalization off of that drone and get the kill. Does a little recon, so he's uh, just kind of throwing his utility at them, not, not too much. Back, so, yeah. Not too much utility yeah, being thought out here, right. you know, like, they have the Viper all here. Would it be better to use the, the recon okay, now and try and get a wall bang through yeah. the Viper all? A uh, wall, even. There is two belt. V very yeah. aggressive angling here. I'm back. Uh, he yeah. does have Could two shot darts as well, anyway. so yeah. I'd be thinking about how I'm going to use them on if they plant B or A. But it looks like he doesn't have lineups from middle to the B bomb site. I think it's really important uh, to have lineups from like the ramp. Uh, there's some tasty ones. I was always doing loads of damage when I played Sova doing them. I don't see anything. I'm coming. They're normally like a two and a half bar or a three bar. And you just shoot Starting him in the, the air and it lands. Anyway, so Viper are we here? He recons into it. Doesn't get the ping on it, so he knows that the Viper's going to be around here somewhere, like close. Wait. There she is. So he finds a kill I'm using that, HP, using that yeah. recon to make the space. He finds the kill on the yeah. Viper, the, and nice. Corey apparently gets um, nice. three of them somehow. So I'm not entirely sure how Corey got three there, but fair play. And the enemy team's through. He does have ulti this round, gonna, so let's I'm think how. Dirt and dirt. So he's going to recon dart here, recon there, taps the orb, Two upper. Uh, you might think like why is he tapping the orb, he's got full, full, full I'm watching whatever it, I'm watching it's called. It. I think it's just to kind of pressure. Yeah close, close, close. Dead. Nice aim there. Dead. Oh he's got good aim, he's got cracking aim. Nice little angle hold there. That's probably one of the best spots if enemies A split you, Um, it's really good to go there. Thank you Oaken. What's up Pablo? So, I didn't see how he used his ulti sadly, but he's draining out middle this time. Sage is also walling behind it. This is like heavy mid control util. And what that means is if the Sage walls like that, it means that they can do fast rotations to and from B to A. It's just faster rotations. You don't have to worry about the flank so much um, or a lurker. One's Until under on the left, close left. Alright, so let's see how he does this. They've been ulted right now, so it's a bit difficult. He's going to try and find a timing here, manage to find the K KO. And I think, I think it's, good to, it's good to bait a little bit your teammates, you know? I'm getting on it now. I'm on it. So is he going to go for half or is he going to stick it? He's sticking it. So it's a bad plant there from the defenders. I don't think Xander quite understood where it was planted and that he could just tuck in. So he's done a fast mid, recon like mid, mid here. He's fighting mid, fighting. He's um, fighting. Yeah, yeah. And the enemy Shocking. team did throw an orb, but uh, they broke it and they were just swinging middle and he took a fight. Let's see, because he's got ulti here, so he's going to drain middle here and try and get a ping off and then maybe ulti someone. Yeah, they left me. I wouldn't go for him. He's going to TP, I'm not going to ult him. Yeah, exactly. So he's, he's not going to ult you the chamber. Because the chamber can just TP out the ult. So shock dart for elbow there. I'd be thinking... Nice little lurk out there using the Viper. The Viper is super good for using that sort of uh, lurking style. Yeah, it's it means that you can easily bomb find down. catch people off guard kitchen. with that one. So he's got kitchen right now. He's got one recon for the retake. I'd be thinking about how I'm going to use my ulti here. Um, you want to be kind of getting as far away from the plant spot as possible to to get your ulti off. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to pull it off. Uh, I think we just go B. 
So if he I hears the tap on B, he's probably oh, going to ult. Zero, so and he knows that one's in kitchen, so he yeah. has to be a bit scared about ulting because the guy could well, just charge well, at him. Yeah, yeah, I'm ulting. So they tapped it now and he's ulting. Uh, oh, his ults are very... Um, oh, 80, 80 kitchen oh and 80 yellow. He actually found the kitchen. Kitchen, KD, AO. So his ulting seems very smooth, you know? He's not They're like holding 80. it in the same spot. He's kind of dragging it into the position of the enemy. Um, it looked yeah. quite smooth, and he was kind of Three. predicting their movement quite well. They're both like 80. They're both like 80. Yeah, they're gonna I'm darting for close. I think that dart wasn't really good. Nice little wall bang awareness there to wall bang that box, because people do play like yeah, that nice along that. Um, I think the re recon would have been better uh, up here. You probably can't see it, but um, it would have been better up there, I think. So his teammates die, he gets flashbanged and dead. I'm gonna join from close. Oh, Lucky round, really. Alright, so the drone comes in here. You do have to be careful of a jet tag, tag, jumping tag, up tag. on the pipes, but he knew that the jet kind of got away. Screen, screen, so he drones in. And he's kind of cleared out the whole site there with that drone. Really good drone. Look on, let's see where it goes. He just shoots it uh, to, to ping behind the wall, but they could be under balcony. He clears it. Um, because the site's clear. Honestly, I would have said save your recon, and that's kind of what I try to tell my boys too, is that you should be saving your recons in those situations and just using it for a post plant. Like, I mean, the round was probably won, but what if like something happened? It'll scan kitchen. So he's got a kitchen dart here, so let's see what this actually does. I think it's because the enemy team doesn't have a sage, but they have a chamber, so... So recon dart into kitchen here. Ping's kitchen, no one actually in kitchen. I think. In tube, in tube, lower tube. Wait, Vipers, Vipers default, 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 peaking default. Good comms here nice. from the server. 4v1, 4v1. I'm holding flank, I'm holding flank. Bloody hell, the NA comms and ranks sound like they're an official. If you compare it to like when EU's playing ranked. He's boiler. I'm coming kitchen with you. I have behind you. So he's playing a little crossfire kitchen. of kitchen. I don't think this angle is very good, but if he swings it, then it might be better. Maybe he actually won't get checked, but if the enemy swings him, it's really hard to hit it. But the enemy Darting walked two. in, so I guess it's not too bad. I'm blind. Oh my god, why was that flash so red? That flash looked like a recon dart. Muted, that's why you guys see me all So recon here, close. This is generally your default recon. I think there are better ones now. But it's just good in ranked because it stops like the jet up on pipes and there's not a lot of coordination in ranked to go and break gonna, that recon for the jet. So leave. the jet might go for the peak I'm and be like, oh, no one's breaking my recon, so they're leaving. No, we they're might not. get they're a ping on the jet. Drones in, and that's what I was on about. You've got to be careful with that pipes kind of updraft. He was kind of lucky to get away with there's that. Two A at least. Um, Maybe last three or A. Not updraft, but jumping up on the pipes. Two A at least. He's got two shock darts. I have, I have under recon two. In Can you put your orb down? I have under two. If you put it down. I have under two. So he's kind of after doing all that kind of utility towards A and being a bait or a faker, yeah. he's now holding the the mid crunch. So if anyone was to fight from middle, he'd probably just swing on them and get the trade off. He tries to recon <laughs> snowman now, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, that's a quick one. That's a quick little GG, but that's what we got from Trent. Um, so let me go on. Uh, let me do my usual thing. All right, so we're on Valor Plant now, and we're on Icebox. So let's see how uh, to play server, shall we? So generally on server, you want to be playing mid ramp or A. I think those are server's only good positions. I don't think server's that great on B. There is arguments for the drone back being not too bad, but there's so many places they can hide from that it's not great. Um, so this is how you play Sova. So from Sova, you need to have an idea of what to do if you don't have a Sage or any info here. Uh, and if they orb up, what is what is your plan for this? So if you're mid ramp, you either have to kind of recon through it, but I feel like sometimes it can feel like a waste of a recon, but you might need to recon through it because if they pass, if they go, if they cross and you have no info, then it's really awkward for you. So what generally used to happen was, if they orb up, then you'd recon, and if the recon doesn't ping, that's fine, but then if they orb up again and you don't have for the recon, then generally you'd have to be like, either someone has to be covering these places, or, or you rotate off, and if you have like three here or two here, one of them has to cover the mid. And then you rotate off and you'd probably drone into kitchen from this. It's not ideal. 
Especially if you don't have any info you two. But if you have the info you two, you probably don't need to rotate as hard until like the the stuff breaks. Then if the stuff breaks, you'd probably come here. Potentially drone, depending on like what info is going on on the map. Uh, generally, you want to drone when it's been silent. You don't want to drone to confirm places, I feel like. You want to drone when it feels silent and you don't know where they are anymore. Just to kind of clear out places. So from here, you need to learn a shock four. I used to have a shop for here, but obviously the door has changed now. Having a shop for the orb is super good, especially if teams are rushing B and like in rank, they're rushing B at the start. You can get a nice tasty shop from here that will land right on the orb and it will do a nice little 80 damage. Uh, and your other shock is probably for default, just here. Those are the two best shocks for the B bomb site. Now you can learn the default one from here, uh, like around here. You can learn it from up here or you can learn it from here, depending on where you are. Now for the retake, generally what recon you want to be doing, let's say you've retaken and you're coming through kitchen, you clear out kitchen and you're coming down this way. So the recon you want to do is probably to clear out the yellow. So maybe one like this, but I don't think that's actually that good. There's one you can do here where only the uh, person at yellow can break. You can. It's the one I kind of tried to highlight and I think that one's the best one. Because then it clears out the yellow. Um, I do wonder if it clears out this though. Because ideally you want to be kind of, uh, on retake, you want to kind of wrap around here, I think. And then you just get easy fights along here. As soon as you get yellow nowadays on this map, it feels really hard to kind of play post-plant from here. So that is the, the one thing. Um, and if you have a drone, then just do the drone that he did, really. You might want to drop down. Um, but that's it for B, really. Um, another situation you can do is that if they take B or A... You can either, I think this is more so for B, you can drop down here and then drone through middle. And like maybe it's always good to have like someone push out with the drone. But if that's not the case, and droning through middle is not too bad. Um, but I, I, I don't think it's the greatest in ranked, honestly. I think just um, it's good to pressure off the lurker, but that's pretty much it. Like what else does it do? So I do think using it for retakers really strong especially on a so let's say you're playing a so you start on a you probably just want to recon here and maybe just grab the orb and then you're kind of playing with a jet or a rainer or whoever you're going to be playing with and you want to play like bait position so house hi hiding in house you can either hide in this position or there's another position at the top of the rope here that you can hide behind or you want to go top screens top screens is a really good one um, it's not the best for server because obviously you want to be shooting recons, but it is good to get the one kill, drop down, and you're in the perfect position to do shock plants. You just all you have to do is bounce off the ceiling and into there. Uh, that doesn't look like the ceiling. If I was to do 3D, you'd bounce it off this and then like that, off the ceiling, the roof, the roof, off of the roof of the building. Um, and those, this shock dart does loads of damage. Another shock dart you can do, if you have like a jet playing around here, then you can stand here. I call this the angel shock dart because I watched a VOD of FPX and he was doing it. And all you do is you aim here. Actually, no, I used to do this when I was on bloody server as well. Um, I used to bounce it off here and then it goes here and it lands here. Now, this shock dart's pretty good. It's a bit more risk way because you don't know if they're there or not. You have to have someone playing contact off of it. For recons, this recon's pretty good for retake. Unless you play here, then you can do a really nasty one off the... There's a little ledge you can put it on here, or like a glass bit. Uh, it's pretty nice, and they don't really break it, and it gets the ping of anyone or kind of on the site. Um, yeah, and then when you drone, you can either drone from here or drone from here. And if you drone, I think you have to drone like this. Like that. Because you want to clear out this this angle here. For your teammates who are here waiting because if you clear out that one it means they can kind of swing as well so yeah that is sova on icebox i hope you learned something uh let me know how it goes in your rank games don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment if you want some of this la 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 lovely comment.